So the whole new year, new you thing, I think it'll work better if we chunk it down. It's a word in NLP, make it smaller, chunk it down. I love lingo. It's so special. But yeah, chunk it down. Instead of new year, new you, you could do new day, new you. Don't we wake up fresh every day? And don't you recognize that you have to kind of remind yourself of everything wrong in your life when you wake up? All right, I'm mad at this one. That one's mad at me. Okay, I'm determined to do this and I have this problem. It's like you kind of do wake up with a blank slate and then we remind ourselves of everything wrong. How about new minute, new you? Because in the minutes is where we, we create the new you thing. Uh, it's every little decision. It's every item we order off a menu. It's every time we decide to get up earlier. It's every time we decide to, you know, lift some weights or, or do some stretches or whatever area of our life we want to improve. And I'm not here to tell you you're fine just the way you are. You're not. You're not. If you're alive, you have more improving to do. You have more learning to do. You are here to live, to, to love and to learn and to honor our higher power with our lives and gratitude and achievement. See, I wear these because I'm convinced they make me look younger because they look like Mickey Mouse ears, maybe. I can take them off. How about I do this? It, it adds credibility. professory. <laughs> uh, no, you're not fine. I'm not fine. I'm absolutely not fine. There's more to learn. And if there's more to learn, that means there's more to improve on. There's more growth, more experiences to have more wisdom to acquire more ways to, to share that wisdom with others. So, uh, new year, new you fine. What's the goals new day, new you wake up and remember to forget <laughs> The problems from the previous day, they're not helping you. Don't, don't download them. It's like starting up a computer to like have fewer programs at startup, fewer negative things at startup and then do new minute, new you. Did you, did you have one too many Christmas cookies? Cause they're left over and you got to eat them. Well, don't be like, Oh, screw this. I screwed up and then reach for more. Just be like, okay, I've had enough. I know what they taste like. I'm good. And, and have some fizzy soda or something. Have like a club soda with some lime or something. But I just can't stop. Yes, you can. If I said for every cookie you go like this with and then put down and decide not to eat, I'm going to give you a hundred dollar bill. Oh, watch how fast you can. You can stop. I don't know why I'm using cookies. Seems to be everybody's thing. Oh, I'm too fat. I eat too much. We live in an, uh, in a time of abundance of pleasure food, which isn't always great because it's not always the most nourishing food. So every minute be born anew with new commitments, new habits, and try to forget who you were the minute before if it's not the person you want to be. So uh, order my book, Diary of a Fat Girl, Lisa Sarge's. Uh, the audio book is me reading it to you. It's also uh, in soft cover and, um, I'm on Spotify. Look up my last name and it's a beautiful, uh, hypno hypnotic beginner's meditation. Easy to do. You know, my name, Sarge's S A R G E S E on Spotify, more videos on YouTube and, uh, you know, I'm all over social media spreading the wisdom. So. Be well. I wish you the happiest, safest, most joyful. And uh, I'll see you tomorrow with more wisdom.